Hey everybody, this is uh, Jim Ruland. I'm just doing some more speed scouting here. It's early. I uh, want to do some winter wheat and alfalfa stands. Great time to do that and use the Encirca Pro tool. Uh, saves me a lot of time. So uh, when I get to uh, the, the fields, uh, first thing I do is I check my Encirca Pro and I assess what kind of uh, fields, where they're at as far as, uh, hey, do I got a lot of fields with good situations or poor situations? And again, I look at the, the health of each field. I prioritize those, uh, see which fields I need to look at. I'm going to look at the tougher fields first. So when I go out there, I'm going to bring along my square and also shovel. And uh, the cool thing with this Encirca Pro tool, I'm going to use the follow me function and go to those uh, yellow areas or the low health areas. And once I get in there, I'm going to uh, dig up some ruts. I'm going to do some, some stand counts uh, per square foot. Uh, really what I'm looking for, and especially for my high yield guys, is I want to get in that two to three uh, tillers per plant. I want to see at least uh, 20. If I get below that, then I need to make some judgments on that. Uh, so that, that's what I'm looking for and again also with this tool it gives me an overview of, of how much good and bad I have out there so this tool it works great for for myself for growers for for my rep team uh, really fast and, and very efficient so you can see in this first part here I'm, I'm in the, a green area I like what I see there uh, this this kind of just shows uh, the kind of stand counts I have there when I go into those uh, yellow areas uh, and again this can be alfalfa or, or uh, winter wheat this happens to be winter wheat again here uh, we had some challenges there uh, you, we can see a lot of uh, uh, soil type things there so that, that's uh, some things that I need to address maybe these spots aren't very big but again this gives me an, a chance to evaluate what, what's going on there so on the alfalfa side there uh, we can kind of do the same thing I'm look you know initially I'm going to look at uh, plants per square foot but then I'm going to take it to the next step and and look at uh, stems per, per square foot so that that's going to be a better tool to tell me what kind of alfalfa I have there so when I'm doing speed scouting on the, on the alfalfa field again I'm going to bring my square and my shovel and I'm going to toss the square out uh, uh, probably in five, six locations, depending on the size. If it's a bigger field, obviously I'll do more. But I'm going to start off and do plant counts. I just kind of want to get a, 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 an idea how many plants per square foot. I will dig up the uh, uh, plants in, in that square foot and kind of take a look at the roots. I'm looking for white roots. The, uh, when I start seeing uh, brown or discolored roots, uh, then i got to assess uh, how, how good of plants I have. Uh, the next thing I'm going to look at uh, is, is count the number of stems and that's going to really tell me how, how good a field yield potential I have there. So I kind of do it a little bit of old school and new school. Uh, again, using the Encirca circuit tool to uh, speed scout and get everything done in a timely fashion. So again, I'm looking for, on those newer stands, I'm looking for uh, 20, 15 to 20 plants per square foot. Uh, those are pretty easy on those newer stands. But really when I get in that three and four year stands, uh, I want to kind of assess uh, how many plants per square foot because I, I want to have at least five uh, plants per square per square foot so and then access it from there so and what a great tool to use the, the uh, speed scouting tool again I can access where I need to go uh, cut my time in half at least